going on, people? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about the TikTok eggs being broken on little kids' heads. Uh, if you want to like and follow after this, please do. If you don't, that's cool. We're working our way toward the PC soundboard here. So if you want to help donate, here's my cash app. All right, enough of that. <clears throat> All right, let's uh get to the video. I'm sure you guys have seen this circulating around, so let's talk about it. You know, ow! <laughs> that hurts! For you guys who listen with headphones, this is going to be loud, so turn down your headphones, turn down your computer. I wanted to crack it! <laughs> Go, crack it. All right, that, that's enough. I hate, I really hate putting kids on my channel, so I'm not going to show you every single kid. Uh, I just wanted y'all to just get one, one look at what we're talking about here. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. Because now I have to break my own dang argument. Keep kids off the internet. And I just had to do that, but the only way I could show what people are having a backlash about. The, the video is much longer, but I don't feel like showing all those kids. But I had to show you what was going on. So, number one, do I think it's wrong to break an egg on your kid's head? Do I think it's kind of it, it, it's kind of gross or anything like that? To me, it depends. You know, uh, I'm gonna say I don't have a real issue with it because kids do get hurt all the time. Kids run around, they play in the rocks, they play in the trees. So an egg breaking on the head is that gonna destroy them mentally, psychologically, all that kind of stuff? Nah, man, it's just supposed to be a funny video. I get it. So I'm not, I don't really have a big issue with somebody breaking eggs on the head. You know, some of these, some of these kids are going to cry because they're sensitive. It just, that's just life. But like I said, you know, you're growing up, you're going to be playing with the boys and sometimes you're going to fall, you're going to scrape your knee. I mean, it's, I don't see that any worse than, I don't see breaking eggs on the head any worse than a kid running and smacking his face on the ground. And we see videos about that all the time where they show kids just running and face planting into the ground so if we're okay with that we got to be okay with this so i don't take it that serious um eggs being cracked on the head man it's, it's it's not all that what i will say though i do think there's a problem with always putting kids on the internet i try to avoid it the much most i can except for in this context but even when i put up thumbnails and stuff like that i try to blur out the kids faces because it's just something to me if i can avoid it i, I will but if i can't i can't but I don't understand why we want to put kids on our internet for our entertainment. If you're trying to do something educational, prove a point, okay. But if you're just putting kids on there just to kind of get yourself views or try to get yourself clicks or just to be a weird parent, I just against that, man. When people who, you know, when we saw the whole Ace family thing, if y'all remember the Ace family, and they're just a great example. Um, there's other families that have done the same thing, but I, I never watched them. I never watched the Ace family. But I have seen their lawsuits and stuff, so I know about them. When you see these family YouTube channels and they're always trying to push their kids out there, I see this on Facebook more than I see it anywhere. Facebook is notorious to me for showing kids on the Internet. There, there's always some parent showing their kid on there doing some silly dance or doing something just weird. I just think it's weird to put your young children on there because normally they're not they can't consent to it. You know what I'm saying? This, people be like, oh, I asked my kid if he wanted to. I don't care. Of course, your kid is going to say yes to his mom or dad. You expect the kid to be like, no, I do not want to put myself on the Internet. I do not feel like people seeing me. You don't understand, with mom. See, when it comes to the kids, do not explain themselves that way. They don't understand. Really, they understand the concept of the Internet, obviously, but they don't understand the repercussions that come with being on the Internet. They don't understand what people will say about them. They don't understand that there's predators out there. They don't understand that kind of stuff. That's why, you know. It's just crazy to me that. I know that y'all will say this is crazy, but I would not, if I had a child, right, you know, I would not let my son or daughter make a YouTube video until they were 18. Not going to do it. I'm not going to put them on there. You'll never see my son. Y'all haven't seen my son. Y'all never will see my son. You know what I'm saying? These kind of things wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Even when my son was being born, y'all didn't know about it. There's no pictures of him. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, to me, it's just, 
I just keep them out the spotlight. This I do this stuff because I love to do it. My kid, I don't want him. I don't show him to show y'all I'm happy. I don't show him to be like, oh, man, this is a great family life. And I just think that's foolish. I just think now, if you want to share your kids with your family and friends, I completely understand that. But on a private Facebook, I get that. But when people put them on there, showing them doing dances or show them looking stupid or show them doing dumb things just to get views and clicks. And then they make damn near every video they make is about their kid. I just think I just find that disturbing. I just find that disturbing. It's the same thing I told you guys the other day when I was talking about why do we include students in our activist conversation? Why do we have to include students in everything that we do? Why do we always have to include kids in adult situations? You know what I mean? I just, I, I just don't get it. I really don't. And I just think, honestly, keep the kids off the internet, let them live their lives, and let them be kids. Especially when they're really young. A kid who's five? Come on, man. Five, six, seven, eight. Just let them live. Let them chill. Keep them off this internet. This internet world, this internet world is dark, baby. It is. And I think us adults are equipped to handle most of the vitriol that comes with the internet. But these kids aren't because they don't know what people are saying about those kids. These kids are probably, some of these kids get made fun of. Sometimes they get called cute, blah, blah, blah. Some of these people, there's predators out there talking about them. There's some people who are looking at their pictures, looking at their videos in a completely different, disgusting way, and I'm not justifying those people. I'm just saying, leave the kids off of this because they can't consent to putting themselves on the internet. It's a difference when somebody puts themselves on the internet, people are disgusting anyway. Okay, then. But these kids can't consent to that. They're not being, they're not, they're not old enough to be able to say, yeah, I want to be on the internet. They don't understand this world yet. You know what I'm saying? When you understand the confines of this world and you're 18 plus and you can go do all that other stuff, you can't even drink yet. There ain't no way you should be on the internet. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, though. Maybe I'm a goofball. Maybe your 10-year-old daughter makes videos right now. And you think it's perfectly fine. You make millions and millions off of them. <laughs> anyway, man, let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.